guys. I'm going to start off this video today um, addressing a couple of things. My hair. Okay, so a lot of people comment on my hair. And I went and had the darker part of my hair lightened. It's a process. It's not where it's going to be. So just know that all of it's going to look like this purplish platinum that I have down on the bottom. But since the top part was so dark, it takes a process of lightening so we don't fry off hair because nobody wants to fry off hair. So um, just to let you know, my hair's in process and it won't forever look like this. Okay. Second thing I'm going to address is this on my face. Red, splotchy, itchy areas on my face, on my neck. <sighs> could be a couple of things. I'm not sure. Um, could be that this is nowhere near being empty, but it's already smelling. And I put this on my face, so this, and I have sensitive skin anyways, so I'm not sure if this um, vitamin C is spoiled and it caused a reaction on my face. Not sure, because I know that vitamin C can go bad pretty quickly. Um, that's a possibility. That may be it, or it just could be stress. And if you guys have watched my uh, previous videos, you know that things have been pretty crazy around here lately. So... It could be stress, but excuse my face. And why um, I'm bare face is because I'm going to um, do just a little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm going out with my husband and my son tonight. Um, we're just going to get out of the house and do a couple things. And so um, I thought I would get ready on film and say hi to you guys and see how things are going. And I love um, conversating with you guys in the comments. So please. Um, feel free to pop down there and, um, to, you know, chat it up with me. And then please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We have many, many views and, um, a lot of viewers and, um, just subscribe. That helps out my channel. I'm begging you to subscribe, um, subscribe. And, and if you know somebody else that may like watching my crazy videos every once in a while, then pass on the word and um, and then hit the bell because I haven't got down a, a real regimen schedule yet. Hit the bell and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that and um, let's just get into the makeup look. Um, so I was wondering, this is what I'm going to do, okay? I decided to depot a whole bunch of eyeshadows. Um, I had some palettes that I wasn't too fond of. Um, I'm gonna turn. I'm just gonna share a little dirt. Um, please don't come at me, and please don't unsubscribe when you find out that I'm not a Morphe fan, nor am I a Jaclyn Hill fan. Mm, sorry, guys. Not. I have my reasons. Just not a fan. Um, and so I decided I got a wild hair and I had seen a lot of people do this online. And so I was like, I'm going to try to depot my Morphe palettes and my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I was patient and I warmed up the bottoms and I did all kinds of stuff to release the glue, but I broke so many shadows, broke so many shadows. Like I would not probably do that again. But here I thought, oh, if I have them in these palettes, then I'll use them more and they'll be mixed up and I can get different color stories from them and everything. And guess what? I don't ever use them anymore. So I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen to you, but that's my story. So I really, really wish I wouldn't have de depotted them and put them in, in, in these things, but I'm going to show them to you anyways. 
and some of them got broke and I had to clean them out and like if they just had any kind of breakage to them I because I tried that whole alcohol thing and I don't think that they perform well after that and so I won't do that again either but so here's my blushes and some highlights and contour and all that good stuff and some shadows there's that and see and the other thing is I couldn't tell you now what eyeshadow is what and where it came from so <laughs> there is another I might have just stuck my finger in on one of those and then I have this one here and I recognize these these are Jaclyn Hill ones right there but see how they broke yeah <clears throat> not gonna do that anymore I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my eyeshadow look today I just know that we're going to dinner and stuff like that and I just don't want to do something too crazy um, I may <coughs> excuse me I may play around with some of the kind of like the brick reds or something I may do since I have my Levi shirt on I may do more of a, a warm tone look today um, anyway, so let's just dig in. Let's just throw it on our eyes and see what comes, what we come up with. I just want to start using some of these other ones that I haven't got out for a while. Oh, I got to show you this too. I went to Home Goods and I found this for my bazillion eyeshadow brushes. And I love it. I think it's pretty. And I like to spin it because I'm a dork. Anyways, um, all right. So let's just get in here and start putting on some eyeshadow. Does anybody, is it just me? Or does anybody else um, just get in funky moods for no reason? Like, I just kind of feel blah, and I just, like, mood-wise, like, I'm not saying, like, health-wise, I just feel blah, like my, <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. Um, does anybody else have days like that? I mean, for the most part, I think that I'm a pretty cheerful person, for the most part. I like to kid around, and I like to joke around and do stuff like that and but so some days I feel off and I just don't feel like myself and I'm sure there's other people other than just me that feel that way um, some of it could be just the stress the immense amount of stress we went through this last couple of weeks um, with my stepdad having a stroke and my um, mother-in-law having a tumor, which was benign, praise the Lord. No cancer there. She's already back home after almost two weeks in the hospital, um, bleeding internally. And then my little grandbaby girl had to have a procedure. And that was pretty scary because she's only a little over one. And um, they only had to sedate her because she actually did really well. They were very impressed at how well that she reacted and wasn't like screaming or she just played with a toy and laid there while they ran um, a catheter and put dye in there to check to see if her kidneys were backing or her bladder was backing, backing up into her kidneys. And, um, just while sedated, that's it. Like she just played with a toy and they were able to get it right in. And they said that they've never had a baby so good in the hospital before like that. And so, um, I was just very, very thankful 
for the way it turned out and um and just you know proud of her <laughs> if I wasn't proud already I'm really brown now no I was already immensely proud of her because she is like one of the best babies you'll ever see she never cries I mean she does cry but she's like just a happy baby all the time and um she's silly and she's funny and she just I just love her so much and my daughter's about to have another little girl so we're excited about that um and yeah so that happened with my granddaughter which was a little scary and then um um yeah I don't think there was anything else unless I'm forgetting something but it was just a lot a lot of stress in a short amount of time and that may be contributing to I don't think it's a rash it kind of looks like hives or something on my face but oh well um it'll it'll go away hopefully I can make it look like it's gone away with my makeup because <laughs> sometimes with my skin because I am I do have mature skin if you have dry or anything going on with your skin, it just, foundation just really, really makes it um, in your face. And the uh, foundation will stick to it and um, just, it's not a good look. It's not a good look for anybody. Um, but we'll check it out. We'll see. We'll see. So, does, do you guys celebrate Easter? Do you do Easter baskets? I'm just wondering. Tell me down below. I do Easter baskets. My son is about to turn 12, but I'll probably still do an Easter basket for him. I usually make it just more mature. Everybody likes candy doesn't matter how old you are and um I will do one for Zaylee my granddaughter and I'll do one for the new baby and I'll probably put like outfits um I'll probably <laughs> I'll probably put outfits in there and um can't not candy but I thought about since Cynthia is craving pickles this pregnancy I thought maybe I should just put a jar of pickles in there because <laughs> I know it's Cynthia is going to eat it but you know when you're carrying a baby they get everything you get so maybe that baby is craving pickles too but I thought that would be kind of funny instead of candy in, in the baby basket but Zaylee will get candy in her basket I got her some outfits too. And I got her cotton candy. I want to see her eat cotton candy. I don't think she's ever had cotton candy before. So. Anyways. Um, I'm going to do, I know I mentioned this in another video, but I'm going to do a try on um, clothing haul. Um, I want to get pictures first of the um, of me in the outfits today it's cloudy and rainy and I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to do it today so that's gonna be a future video and um, then we will um, upload it and I'll show you the clothes and we'll talk about it and stuff like that about the prices and what I found and what I liked and all that good stuff. Um, and then I did get a few things at Ross. I found some clothing items at Ross also. And because I just really needed um, some new, I had cleared out my closet and sold some things on Poshmark and stuff like that. And like, I just really needed to get it built, you know, up where I had some summer items. 
And so, um, anyways, what's your thoughts on, I know what I want to do with the Shein, um, clothing haul, but the Ross is, uh, I don't know, would you guys want to see me just hold up the items and just show you what I had, um, purchased through Ross or, uh, or at Ross, or would you just rather just wait and do, um, just the Shein because I don't want to do a try on with both. There's just no way. Um, I will do it with the Shein, but I don't think I'll do it with, um, Ross, but Ross, there was quite a few more items. And so if you guys would like to just see me hold up the items and show you what they are, then I'll do it and do a haul that way. They don't know if you enjoy just seeing somebody hold up the item. So let me know what you think and what you would like me to do and I'll do it. So, um, just some ideas for videos and stuff like that. I am going to quit talking for now. And so we don't make this video too long and I'm just going to um, finish doing my makeup and we will see you at the end. Okay guys, this is the final look. I um, will kind of go over a little bit about what I used off camera, but it's just more of a burgundy brown natural look. And in my waterline, I'm using this J-Cat Roll-Up Auto Liner, and it is in the color, let's see. R-A-L, RAL, 110. Use that in my waterline. For my lips, I just used liner. Like, these are creamy. These are the ColourPop lippy pencils that I got. And they're creamy. You know, I like a liner because a liner is going to last longer than your lipstick. And a lot of times you could put gloss over top or you could just put a little bit of lipstick, but if you line your whole lips, it lasts a lot longer. Anyways, um, this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3, okay? I used my Hyper Real Glow MAC highlighter, and I don't have the little sheet to tell, but it's the lightest shade in this palette here. And then... I just used this color, that color. I used a little bit of the shimmer in there. And then in this palette, I used more of the reds. So I used that one there that one and just kind of blended it all in. And I like this look. This is just a, you know, normal everyday look. I used um, a little bit of liquid liner and I did pop on some of my um, lashes on the outside um, so that you could actually see that I have some lashes. <laughs> uh, since I don't have natural lashes that stand out very well, so I just popped a few of those little three um, three stacks of them, or not three stacks, but three, um, little, oh goodness, let me just show you how about that. I've showed it before, but in case you haven't seen the video before, these little lashes, and I get them in short and extra short because I don't want them to be, I have hooded eyes, plus I already have, um, lashes that are short, and so I don't want them to look unnatural. I want them to look fuller, and longer my lashes but better is what I want and so um, I just pop two sets of those on the outside and then I just use mascara and use and and fluff up the rest of my lashes I actually forgot to put mascara on the bottom but it looks okay I do both 
with and without. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this look and the little chat that we had. I know I didn't show everything, but, um, you know, oh, Wet n Wild Foundation. And I just looked over here and remembered, this is my favorite concealer. It's the NYX Professional Makeup HD Photogenic, Studio Photogenic, um, Studio Concealer. And I get it in Fair CWO2. And that's my favorite under eye uh, concealer. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this. I um, will have some other videos coming up soon. And so I hope that you guys are having a great day. And um, I hope to see you here next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a like um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to support the debutante fam. Um, and I hope that you come back to watch the videos that we have coming up. And I hope that you all have a blessed day. Bye, guys. Thank you.